Hello friends, welcome to part 4 of MongoDB C Sharp Beginners Tutorial. So in this video, we are checking how to do MongoDB upsert. So before starting, I will just explain what is upsert. So this is a flowchart explaining the upsert command. So I'll just explain you how it works. So for example, we are having our application here and the application is sending an upsert command to the database. So the database will check if there is any record exists along uh, record exists which matches the criteria or we can say which matches the filter definition which we have passed along with the upsert command. So if there is a record which in, uh, there is a record in the database then database will update the record otherwise database will insert a new record. So let's check how we can do this. So let's open our sample application. Now here, for doing the upsert, I'm just adding a new button. And uh, just giving the text as upsert and just changing the button name okay there's btn upset fine now let's let's do the code so upset for upset basically we have to use the same code which we have used for update so here in update the uh, function what we have or the operation what we have done is the application will check whether there is any product code available in the database any products available in the database with the product code what we have entered here in this text box and it will update the product name and price now for upset what we are doing is we are doing the same thing. We are creating a filter definition. Filter definition equal to builders of product dot filter dot equal to a such that add out sorry a dot product code comma txt product code dot text. So we are taking the value from the text box txt product code is the text box this one okay we are taking the text from the text box and uh, we are matching the product code value now next we have to declare the update definition so if a product matches what we have to do builders of product dot update dot set is such that a dot product name we have to update the product name with the product name what we have entered in the product name text box so txt product name is the text box here this is the text box also we have to update the product price or uh, the price with the value what we have entered in the price text box so in our model class the price is a decimal data type 
device is having decimal data type so we need to convert the text box text to decimal txt price of text okay so the update definition is update product name from uh, with the product name what we have under and price with the price uh, price value what we have under so the price value will be converted to decimal and it will be updated now as we have done before for update yeah here we have done the same function here so here we have given product collection dot update one so I'm just copying it we need to use the same thing here with a small difference so here after update definition I'm just giving update options as well so I'm declaring a new update options so here you can see there is an option is absurd so here it will uh, it is uh, here we will get a basic explanation what ESAP does uh, is absurd does so I'm just giving the value equal to true so this is the only thing what we need to do in order to absurd the record now after updating or inserting or we can say after absurding we have to load the data here in our data grid view we have to refresh the data so I have called the load product data method now let us run the project the application is building yeah the application opened so here now it is showing three different sorry two different products I think we have three one moment yeah in it for the previous uh, session we have used a filter definition inside this load product method that is why it is not showing the whole records so I'm just giving filter dot empty to load the whole records and again running the application so yes now we can see there are three different records product records now let us just test the absurd function so first I am giving product code as 104 and product name as product space 104 and the price I am giving just uh, 40 and I am clicking the absurd button so here now you can see it has inserted a new record why because there were uh, there was no product with product code 104 so it has inserted a new record now for the same product code what I'm doing is I'm just changing the product name to 1004 and the price to 45 now I'm clicking on absurd yes now you can see it has not inserted a new record instead it has updated the existing record so this is how absurd works now let us check for another record now for 102 and the product name is product 102 so here I am giving product 10002 and the price it is 100 now so I am just changing it to 600 and when I am clicking absurd you can see that particular record got updated now 105 there is no product with 105 so it should insert a new record yes it got inserted so this is how we can do the absurd function so absurd is a very powerful function or we need 
uh, you might be having requirement to do this in your projects. I have already done uh, uh, this absurd function in many of my projects. So it is a very useful function or a very useful method to update or insert. So that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed the video. Now a small request, please subscribe and like the video and see you in the next video.